So Mackenzie, some changes this year. Typically around this time, we see the hot 10 coming from Bon Appetit, but what are we in store for? That's right, so October is always the restaurant issue, and as you said, historically that has been the hot 10, where we celebrate the best new restaurants in America, but this year, obviously, that didn't feel like the right move, both because in January, that's when we normally start sending people across the country to test out all of the best new restaurants, and we weren't really up for traveling. Also, we were really inspired by all of the change makers that we saw in the restaurant industry um, who have come together, serving their community, and been trying to better the restaurant industry over this last year. So we devised a new awards called the Heads of the Table, and we're celebrating 12 individuals, organizations, and restaurants across the country who are really showing leadership and helping to make the future of the restaurant industry a bit brighter. So one of our heads of the table honorees is Ursula, and we are joined by Eric C., who is the owner of Ursula. Congratulations. Thank you. What does it mean to you to receive this honor? It means a lot to me uh, to receive this. It's, it's one of those things that, like, as an industry professional, to be recognized by uh, a publication like Bon Appetit is, is major. But for me, it means a lot to me to be recognized for community work. Right, and I'm sure that competition it was pretty tough out there. A lot of restaurants in New York and across the country are doing amazing things. So what really stood out to you the most about what Eric has done? I mean, first of all, the food is bomb. And that's <laughs> sort of like the baseline, right, for any of the restaurants or individuals that we are honoring. But also, as Eric was saying, these awards go beyond that and really recognize leadership in the community. And Eric, both at Ursula and previously at the Awkward Scone, has really been about queer community, about providing a safe space for people to gather. And also with the pop-up series, it means that people can come in and test out new concepts for their business so that we have a new generation of LGBTQ restaurant owners who are able to test things out here. Why was this important to you? I started Ursula as a pop-up uh, at Hunky Dory which is down the street from us and it was wildly successful and it was just like all these people got behind me to help me open this space up and so I feel like it's my duty to continue that tradition. And so once we had our, our feet on the ground here I was able to then open up the space to be able to share with other queer businesses. And I think it's really just about like reinvesting in your community, making sure that you're bringing other people up with you, and make sure that, like you said, there's a new class of really great, beautiful uh, queer businesses to, to come behind me. I love that. So when we come to Ursula, what kinds of things will we find on the menu? Everything here is inspired by New Mexico, for my family recipes, the like wide diaspora of New Mexican cuisine, um, and it also, incorporates a lot of work and creativity from my staff too. We're known mostly for our breakfast burritos. That's what people line up for every morning. And Eric, what makes a New Mexican breakfast burrito a New Mexican breakfast burrito? Hash browns and New Mexican chili. Those are essential. That's hearty. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a meal. <laughs> <laughs> well, Eric, your food is delicious and what you're doing is amazing. So congratulations and thanks for having us today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mackenzie. Of course. Thank you. <laughs>